on the move in the middle of the night. It was a ridiculous sight seeing this ginormous fireboat just on the highway. The former Baltimore City fireboat known as the Tommy and named after former Baltimore City Mayor Tommy D'Alessandro Jr. took a trip around the Beltway from Sparrows Point to Lutherville where the hall and wheelhouse will serve as an educational piece at the Fire Museum of Maryland. 12-year-old Jeremy Doyle and his dad missed sleep to see the long-awaited arrival. It's going to be amazing that people can learn the stories and how good this fireboat was. And this was Baltimore's largest fireboat. The museum director, Steve Heber, takes us under the hall. But these huge pipes are the water firefighting mains. And in the wheelhouse. The, the steering wheel was here. This is the steering column. There was a binnacle here and compass. And then these holes were for engine control. Part of a fleet of four, the Tommy was commissioned in 1959 when steamboats were being phased out for diesel. They needed more fire protection or more firefighting capacity at the water's edge because industry was growing. And look at its original size, over 100 feet long. It was cut down to 38 feet to fit in the museum space at the front entrance. When the boat went out of service in 2015, then it, it languished for a while, but it was still owned by the fire department and nobody would step forward to preserve the boat. They took it across the harbor to Trade Point Atlantic, where it was cut off at the water line and then in the middle amidship and they took all the machinery out so it was a hawk basically sitting on land. But Trade Point Atlantic needed to get rid of the Tommy to free up land. So a three-year effort to move it began. The museum has spent about $100,000 on things like painting and hiring a crane company, donations that include Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. And his daughter, who was Nancy Pelosi, christened the boat with his wife on September 14th. 1956. We're inside the museum's annex now. What operates as the workshop, looking at some of the original pieces of the Tommy that have been recovered and will be reassembled. As a fireboat, uh, this boat was armed with uh, originally four water cannon, and, and that was its function, was to, to shoot water, like a fire truck, but it's a fire boat. So it would be sucking water from the, the, the harbor or the bay or wherever it was. Curator Paul Rubinson says they also have the compass and a cannon, but the museum is still calling on the public for some help. So one of the things that we hope to do as we work towards this exhibit is to hear from people who served on the Tommy and who may have artifacts for us that they could donate to the museum. The Tommy taking a ride through the night so the light can shine on its history. We'd like people to know how important fireboats are to preservation and protection of property. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.